Hello and welcome back fellow path integrators. Today I would like to prove that the gamma function, so the whole integral that we can see here, is equal to n faculty. So this is the gamma function of n plus 1, which is a peculiar thing because we have the exponent n in the integrand, but we have n plus 1 in the gamma function. So we're going to prove that this integral, this improper integral, is equal to n faculty for some natural number n, and we're going to apply Feynman's integration technique, which is one of the coolest integration techniques ever. So let's just go. How do we start? We start quite simple with the following integral. So we go from 0 to infinity, the limits are the same, but we have the integral e to the power of minus x dx. All right, and this integral, this is easy to solve, but we won't solve it yet. First, we're going to include or to introduce a parameter, which is going to be the Feynman parameter, and it's going to be the Feynman parameter t. And we're going to introduce that into the exponent of the exponential function. And the whole integral is now a function of t. All right, now we have our integral. Now we can integrate it with respect to x. And we are treating t as a constant. And this will give us, so the antiderivative of e to the power of minus tx is minus 1 over t e to the power of minus tx. And the whole thing gets evaluated at infinity and 0. And this is just 1 over t. So our integral is equal to 1 over t. And now we're going to apply the actual Feynman technique. So first we're going to take this uh, not converted, I'm sorry. We just copy it and we put it down here. And now we're going to take the derivative of this integral. So we're taking the derivative with respect to t. And of course, we can just drag this derivative into the integral. And this thing now is equal to the derivative of 1 over t with respect to t. So here we have 1 over t. And we just take this a derivative here and put it here. All right, so what we have to do now is we need to take the derivative with respect to t, and now we are treating x as a constant. So here for the left-hand side of the equation, we will get, let's scroll down here, so we get the integral from 0 to infinity, and then we get minus x times e to the power of minus tx. And on the right hand side, oh, I forgot to put the dx, that's a common mistake. On the right hand side, we just take the derivative of 1 over t, and this is minus 1 over t squared. All right, so the minus signs, we can just drop them. And now we do the same thing as we did before, we are going to take the derivative with respect to t. So we take the derivative on both sides. So first, let's make some space here so we can drag the derivative back into the integral. And now we just take the, the derivative with respect to x. And this just gives us here the integral from 0 to infinity, x squared minus e to the power of minus tx dx. And this is equal to minus, now we have 1 times 2 divided by t to the power of 3. So the minus signs, they drop again. And we're going to keep on doing the whole thing as before repetitively. We're taking the derivative and see what we get as a result. So let's shift that a little bit again so we can plug in the derivative. So here the derivative with respect to t and here the derivative with respect to t. And what we get as a result is then x to the power of 3 times e to the power of minus tx dx is equal to 1 times 2 times 3 divided by t to the power of 4. And you can already see where this pattern is leading us because it's leading us to the integral from 0 to infinity with some natural number as an exponent times e to the power of minus tx dx and the whole thing is equal to n faculty divided by t to the power of n plus 1. And to get our original integral, we just have to set our parameter t to 1. And then we get, and we write that in a different color, the integral from 0 to infinity, x to the power of n, e to the power of minus x dx is equal to n faculty.
And that's it. That's the result. And it's amazing how easy this is just by applying Feynman's integration technique, which once again proves how powerful this technique is. Okay, um, thanks for staying with me. Hope you learned something. Hope you had fun. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe, leave a comment and see you in the next video. Bye, my fellow path integrator.